Dave, are you guarding that? Guess what we've got here. <laughs> Look what we've got here. We've got a nice little toy. And I'll tell you something, it weighed a bloody ton. Getting into them stairs there. It's so heavy. But anyway, uh, the delivery driver was brilliant who helped carry it up. He didn't have to do, but um, fantastic. So what I'm going to do now is try and get it off this pallet. And, uh, but I want to drag it in here, but I can't do it on my own. It's too heavy. But anyway, uh, so I will uh, try and get it off the pallet and see what happens. Whew. I'll tell you something. Carrying that from where's it gone? Right down there. Uh, hang on. Right down there. Look where that gate is. So I got Jonathan next door to open me. Oh bloody hell look at that. I thought it was a bit heavier than 60 kilos. I thought it was 60 kilos. That's a net weight 65. Gross weight 80. Bloody hell I'm not surprised it friggin' heavy. Anyway, so Jonathan and I carried this up on the ladder. So I've got to uh, undo it now. And it is a walker. WM 180 lathe, so I can start doing some bits now for this Sunder race, can't I? Like spaces and shit like that. Because engineering companies, they just, and I can understand why, but you know, they don't want to do one off little jobs, do they? Um, they want to do jobs that are worth thousands, same with builders and all sorts of electricians and stuff. People don't want to do small jobs anymore, but they forget that's where they started, isn't it? By doing small jobs, but anyway, I'm ranting. So let me get this unpacked, and then I think I should be able to lift 65 kilos on my own onto my bench. And this is where it's going to go. So it's going to go there. Look, right where that one is. So it's going to go here. So when I get it in here, I will uh, let you sh carry on. Right, I've got it a bit closer. <sighs> Bloody hell, 80 kilos is quite a lot. <laughs> when you, uh, when it's dead weight, if that makes sense. So anyway, my object is to try and get it on that table there uh, with the, uh, well, we'll see how it goes. <sighs> right. I knew that one day this rusty old fucking 45 gallon drum had come in handy as well as this uh, plastic bucket tub thing so all I've got to do now is literally lift the try, oh shit, try and lift the lathe up 6 inch and I can slide it onto that table then once it's on that table, it's in my shed. I can start taking the um, box off and I've just got to lift it from there to there. I'll come back when it's on the table. Obviously Dave's helping me look. Hi Dave. Eh? Are you helping me lift it? Right. Right. Now it's on there. Nearly there, look. Right, I can start taking the box off now. I'm guessing these bend up and uh, this lid comes off. Right, two seconds. God, it's just taken me 20 minutes to get the bloody lid off. Oh, guys, look at that. Yeah. Look at that. I'm not bloody I'm not surprised it weighs too much. God that little toolbox weighs friggin' loads. 
Funktioniert. Cool. Ah. Und dann... Oops, it's upside down. Oops. Cool. Right. Just them two alone must weigh 10 kilo. I'm surprised it said bloody gross weight 8. Uh, there you go, look. Right, so. What the fuck's this? That's a chuck. Right, so now, let's get the lathe out. I'll get this one out first. Right, so these two little bolts, that bolt and that bolt, we're uh, holding it on. So there's one down there, and the other one, I just had to take this panel off, and you could see it there then. So now, the lathe can move freely. So what I'm going to do now is just lift it from there to there, hopefully. Um, so obviously, I've had a lathe before, as you can see, but the one I had before was a bit bigger than this. Um, so the holes don't line up. Uh, the other holes there, look, so the holes don't line up. But um, I've had a look underneath, and I don't know how I had it before because I can't see the bloody hole through there, you know, the... Anyway, uh, I can sort that out later. I just want to get the lathe on here, and then it's, it's safe then, on here, isn't it? So what I'll do is, I shall do what? Um, that goes around that way. So I'll lift it on. Well, I'm going to try and lift it on, uh, onto there, um, and see. Right. It's in! So it comes on that, look. Bolt up to that. So... It's starting to rain as well, so I've just got it in just in time. So, obviously, it's not bolted down yet, as you can see, look. It's, but at least, it's... Uh, It's on the bench, which is a good thing. So what I'm going to do is, I think I'm going to leave it for tonight, and then uh, tomorrow, fucking hell, I'll tell you this little bloody chuck fucking weighs a ton. Um, tomorrow, what we'll do is, we'll get the instruction manual, and then we'll go through it and set it up. Come on. Sorry, that was a bit out of focus, wasn't it? Sorry guys. Um, but yeah, tomorrow, so what we'll do is we'll go through the instruction manual and set it up. And obviously take all stuff like this off and, and there's a bit of paper under there or whatever it is. Just take that off and whatever. Um, check it all over. Have a, look in the, a proper look in the toolbox and stuff. Then we'll see. So yeah, cool. Oh, you even get a spare fuse look for the plug. That's a good do. Test record look. Right. I'm guessing you just go through all this checklist. Oh, it's got the serial number down and everything look. Cool. So right. I shall do that then guys. Um, so tomorrow, like I say, I will uh, carry on doing that. And for all you subscribers, if you like if you want, like one off bits making, I promise you, I will help you. Um, like, for instance, like I say, the, the main reason I got this is because of the, do you know the VFR 800 swinging arm when I need a spacer? I'm going to make one. Stuff like that. Do you know what I mean? So it'll come in handy again. Like I say, I've had one before, so 
I actually made our last a ring on me one before. So I might dig I might dig that out tomorrow and show you that what I made. But anyway. Right. See you later guys. Bye. Oh. Bye guys. In fact, yeah. See you later guys. Bye. Come on.